hello friends in this uh, video uh, i'll show you how to upload journals using oracle web ADI. so first you need to log into general ledger vision operations responsibility and then navigate to journals launch journal wizard so once you click on that it will take you to a html page under the here you can see there are uh, different layouts the first two are the layouts related to budget up uh, uploads second uh, set of uh, layouts are related to encumbrance and the third set of layouts are related to uh, actual journals which are normal gl journals so again here we can see uh, two different kind of uh, gl journal templates foreign actuals and functional actuals so foreign refers to foreign currency journals and functional refers to foreign functional currency journal so using the functional currency templates you can enter only the functional currency journals but using the foreign currency template we can upload both foreign as well as the functional currency journal so i'll pick up this one foreign actuals multiple and then click on create document it will try to download a, a spreadsheet based web adi so click on open And if the macros are disabled uh, in your uh, laptop or a desktop you get this error message or you get this warning message so click on options and enable this content in order for the oracle web ADA to work you need to ensure that your uh, macros are enabled and then uh, so this is how the template looks like so click on the drop down for each of these fields uh, and if you if you know the values you need not uh, click on the drop down you can directly uh, enter the values so once you double click on that then you'll be able to see a drop down okay so it will show you the ledgers associated with my responsibility general ledger vision operations so i'll select vision operations usa and then category you can click on the double click so it will show you the list of all the valid categories so i just want to select a category adjustment and the source so generally the source for your uh, uh, web video should be a spreadsheet so select the source as spreadsheet and uh, the currency you can enter uh, any of the available currencies i'll try to select the currency usd and the accounting date that is your gl general effective date i'll select today's date and then the account code combination i want to debit uh, say salaries account select the account select the entire account code combination and i want to debit this account with say fifteen hundred dollars and uh, the next line i want to credit say cash account so what you can do is again you can follow the same process of double clicking and enter the and entering the details or you can just do a copy paste put your cursor in here copy and then just change the account i want to use the cash account yeah cash account So I want to debit the salaries account and credit the cash account. And this being a functional currency general, uh, it's not required to enter your conversion type, conversion date, or your conversion rate. And as this particular webid template being downloaded from Oracle, you will be able to see an extra menu of Oracle. So this is where uh, you can upload the template to Oracle. So once I click on upload. You get a couple of options here so 
so what are the rows which you want to upload if i select the flagged rows then only the rows which are flagged will be selected so always it's better to select all rows so when you select all rows irrespective of whether the row is flagged or not system will try to upload those rows and uh, always ensure that you check this particular checkbox to validate before upload so that if there are any kind of error system will throw an appropriate error message here and check this particular checkbox automatically submit journal input if you do not check this checkbox once you click on upload the data goes to gl interface and then manually from your gl responsibility you need to run the journal input but if you check this checkbox automatically the data is pushed to general gl interface and from gl interface your general input program gets triggered and push the data into your gl tables and uh, do not check these two checkboxes if you check this uh, create summary journals then your data will be uh, summarized at your account code combination period at currency level and also do not uh, un uh, check this checkbox if you check this checkbox if, so uh, if the journal is unbalanced even then system will allow you the journal to be uploaded and if you are using any of the descriptive flexi fields then you can go for any of these two options import with validation and import without validation and if you do not have any da proofs enabled just use the uh, option do not import when you say do not import it is not importing just the descriptive flex fields okay so click on upload so once you click on upload you will be able to see a, a message saying that it is trying to pull the data from your desktop and uh, sending it to your uh, interface and then from interface it will try to push into your uh, gl uh, base tables uh, via general input so here you can see uh, a message saying that uh, it has even imported from your gl interface into gl base tables using this request id so now log into your channel ledger vision operations Go to view request click on find so here you can see bbda general import program got triggered click on view output and you can see this is the batch which got generated for 1500 dollars so copy the batch now go back to your gl go to journals enter so enter your batch name click on find and here you can see your journal so ensure that uh, your journal is what you have entered in your template and if everything looks fine try to post it and also like a couple of other things in the web data template if you make any mistake in the template that if you do not use a proper currency if you do not use a proper uh, category or uh, source when you click on upload automatically the system will throw and appropriate error matches so i'll just give you an example so i use a say invalid source some invalid source and try to click on upload see here you can see two rows failed validation so click on close if there are in a failed validation then you will be able to see the uh, error message in the messages uh, uh, column so here you can see a message enter a valid source so after looking at this particular message we can correct the required field and then we can try for re-upload okay so that's how you upload a, a gl web adi thanks guys thanks for watching my uh, video for uh, interesting videos on uh, oracle financials please do subscribe to my channel thank you